Hello YouTube, um, just a quick uh, DIY video. Um, if you've got a smartphone or MP3 player, it's annoying when things run out. And you can get these from uh, places like Maplins or Tesco's, you know, electrical outlets. It's uh, basically a USB power supply. Uh, you plug in your phone or camera, whatever, and uh, you can charge it um, a couple of times. This one's quite, uh, well, quite a good one. Uh, in the respect it shows you percentage left 170 and 30 um, one USB outlet um, the downside to this is it takes a lead which uh, you have to plug in here and if you lose or damage this lead you can no longer charge it there are better ones out there that charge via USB uh, like the um, USB A and USB type B type chargers um, but this one is a 9 amp hour or 9000 milliamp hour type uh, or capacity and um, it's quite good, it's quite heavy, well made. Um, I'm, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm making my own one uh, with uh, some bits that anyone has uh, laying around except for possibly the battery. So I'm just going to start off with uh, saying um, uh, if you take a um, old laptop battery and dismantle the battery, you end up with uh, six to nine decent sized cells. And you buy these off eBay, you can buy these uh, from a computer shop. Um, these were second hand batteries and they're still good. So um, once you strip them apart, you can solder them in parallel. And over here we have eight um, laptop battery cells in parallel. They are two. Uh, 1000 milliamp hour each, so 8 here makes 16,000 milliamp hour or 16 amps. 16 amps at one hour, sorry. Um, so if we, um, th these are just in a in a pack for another project, but um, we have basically just a Dean's connector coming out and a switch. Um, but in order to um, be able to charge uh, the cells themselves and the um, appliance or or piece of equipment you want to charge then you're going to have to uh, increase the voltage from 3.7 to 5 volts same for charging these cells you're going to need 5 volts to charge them now if I can find the board I had earlier now this is the circuit board I have uh, bought this is an old one this is one that I destroyed um, if I can hold this still long enough uh, you have two terminals uh, if I point this Got two terminals here, uh, negative and positive, for charging the 3.7 volt cells. Got two terminals here for uh, the battery, uh, positive and negative, and on the other side you have a 5 volt out, positive and negative. Um, this one I inadvertently put 12 volts on and blew it up, and the burn mark is there. If you can see, it's gone pop. Anyway, so that one was is no good, so I'll get rid of that. And uh, instead, what I've come up with is a separate box. Let's let the camera focus. There we go. A separate box um, to hold the electronics. Now, it's going to have a USB in, two USB outs uh, from a cheap cable from Poundland. So, that's them there. And uh, I just need to find a uh, suitable connector for the battery. So once this is finished, this, this is just going to sit on top of that with a bit of Velcro. I'm not too fussed because I've got plans um, for some other circuit boards to do other different things. Uh, so it won't bother me too much that it, you can separate them or you know dismantle them. And it might even mean that I can have one uncharged whilst I'm using one. I don't know. Um, by by on charge, I mean. I bought two other circuit boards here which allow me to charge um, the cells uh, as they are without having the USB out. So I might be able to do something with these later on. Um, so I'm just going to connect this up, button it up and uh, I'm going to test it for you on show on the camera. Okay. Now just for uh, a quick demonstration, uh, you can see there uh, battery voltage behind is uh, 3.89 volts. Air connected on the green crocodile clips. Uh, positive, negative. Um, that is the 
completely set up there. Mine just clips because I can't find them. We got our USB to charge the device. We got our USB outputs there. I've got two of them because I felt, you know, generous. Um, and positive, negative going to the battery leads. So, current voltage 3.89. Um, where is it? Uh, it's in shot. Right, okay. Yeah, if I plug this in, this is charging off the mains. Get it around that way. Battery voltage 3, 4, 4.06, so it's charging the batteries. If I disconnect that off, drops down, so you can charge it off your mains. If you're in the, if you're in your car, um, you've got a USB outlet here. If I move this battery back into shot, just something I've rigged up quickly. Uh, not quite in shot. This bench has got rather crowded rather quickly because I'm not very good at keeping things tidy. Right, and you can charge it in your car. So if you plug the device now into your car jack, 12 volt to 5 volt USB, put in 0.7 amp at around 12 volt. It's also charging. Um, now if I bring you out here, we have um, a USB device here that needs to be charged. You can simply plug it in. Voltage dropped down to 3.98, which proves it's charging. And if I disconnect it from the car as well, we are now charging the USB device. And we're disconnected from the 12 volt and uh, the USB. And the battery has dropped down to 3.72 volts. So I'm going to button this up, stick it on charge, and uh, do some real testing with it. So if you like what I've done, I might do a few more videos on this later on, a uh, more in-depth video. Um, any questions, just put them in the comment box below. Cheers.